Early voting is coming up on October 8th and campaigns are underway at the local level in our viewing area. It's time to take a look at some of this week's top stories in our weekend report. Now, over the next month, we'll be introducing local races in this year's election, starting with the state representative in District 26. This year's District 26 race includes Republican Jim Schenck and the incumbent Democrat Chris Campbell. District 26 includes parts of Benton County and West Lafayette. Over the last two years, the LEAP District in Lebanon has caused water availability to be at the forefront of Hoosiers' minds. The incumbent state representative for District 26, Chris Campbell, says it's important to install water legislation in Indiana. The Republican nominee, Jim Shank, says he's been against the LEAP project since it was first introduced. We need to make that dedication to make sure that we are regulating that, that we're putting those regulations in place so that we, we have some idea about even answering the questions of who owns the water, who controls the water, who's going to pay for this. I will work with any Democrat who's going to help protect our community, our kids, our water, and I will butt heads with any Republican who is going to harm our community in some way, including stealing up to three billion gallons of our water on a monthly basis. The Indiana Department of Education is gearing up to change diploma requirements for students in the coming years, but this redesign has come with a lot of concerns. On Tuesday, State Representatives Chris Campbell and Sheila Klinker hosted a town hall meeting to discuss these changes, which have been revised in a second draft. The first draft of the, of the requirements received much criticism from universities and educational professionals. Among them was Purdue President Meng Chang, who said the new diploma would not meet Purdue's admission requirements. The plan has since been redone and has received numerous letters of support from universities across the state, including Purdue. Representatives Chris Campbell and Klinker both say they believe that this version is better than the first, but could still use some work. I think the second version is much better, but frankly, I think there needs to be a third version. We are going to be hearing lots of the material that includes the changes that are occurring now. Although the, the draft is better than it was the first time, I think it's going to cause a lot of confusion for parents with kids going into high school. This goes into effect for eighth graders now. Um, we won't even know what the final proposed draft will be until the end of the year. Um, and that's even after eighth graders will be planning their high school curriculums. Now, Democrats and voting rights advocates say they're disappointed with a decision by the Tippecanoe County Election Board earlier this week. The board did approve a resolution to add an early voting site on Purdue's campus. Early voting can take place at the Cordova Recreational Sports Center from 10 to 4 on Thursday, October 24th. Voting rights advocates had asked for an election day voting location at the Co-Rec, but that, was, that amendment was not approved. A full list of early voting times and locations can be found at tippecanoe-in.gov. And for more on these stories and other local news, you can head on over to our website, wfi.com.